Let me say this so you don't waste your time asking. We're doing our scouting report on Texas Southern when we're done here, so we're not going to be able to go in depth there. We've been working on us during the break and during final stuff. It's been about us, so we won't be – I mean, I can tell you all you want to know, but they're, they're not going to get their scouting stuff until we're done. Okay, this is for both players. I know uh, college students like having time off, and, uh, but you had exams. I mean, was it a good refresher having this week off? Um, yeah, this bye week, like Coach said, we've just been working a lot on us on court. And with our finals and everything, we've just been, you know, staying level-headed and staying intact with our studies. So, yeah, it felt pretty good, but it felt good to, like, work on us too. <laughs> um, just to piggyback off what Ryan said, uh, it was pretty good being able to just focus on school. And then also when we did practice, you know, just focus on the things that we need to work on and straighten up moving forward. I guess there is some um, eagerness to get back on the court and play a game, though. I mean, it's, practice gets kind of old, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, moving forward, we got these next few games, and it's exciting. And then we got we jump right into SEC, so it's definitely exciting. Same with what Hannah said, you know, Practice is practice, you know, we gonna get it in how we get it in, but we're all excited to get ready to play games. You know, we go to Florida and then SECs, so we just gotta prepare for that. Uh, to the players, you broke into the national rankings. Um, how much is that talked about? Is it not talked about? Um, it hadn't happened here in a while and, and hadn't stayed in the rankings longer than a week in a long time too. I mean, shoot, we've been working hard, so I feel like we deserve it, and we're just going to keep moving forward from it. But it's definitely a great feeling. Um, it's definitely something that we're proud of and we take pride in. But um, we're not satisfied. We're not content with that at all. We're going to keep working our way up to move ourselves even further up to prove ourselves. Anna, you're coming from a program where being ranked wasn't that big of a deal, right? But how exciting is it to see this thing kind of building and growing and you being a part of it now? Um, it's pretty exciting to be, like, a part of history, really. Um, to be in this moment, to be one of the first teams in a long time to be ranked, it's uh, really important to me because that means the hard work we did in the preseason – really mean something and we just need to keep at it. Alright, thank you. Y'all did thank so you. good. Now you can go study some more. Well, Kim, did uh, you see any change in your team uh, after getting ranked, maybe a little more uh, zip in practice or uh, any manifestation? No, other than acknowledging it um, at the beginning of practice, the day that it was announced. Um, you know, I said, pat each other on the back, do whatever you got to do, and now let's go back to work. And uh, I don't think it's been mentioned again. Uh, as I told you and many people, you're going to acknowledge milestones, and those milestones may seem trivial to a lot of people who are ranked all the time. Uh, but when you're doing it for the first time with a new coach and a new program and you're trying to um, regain that old uh, energy that has been here before, um, it, it does matter. Uh, but it wasn't just ranking. It was beating Missouri State the locker room after that. It was beating Iowa State. Uh, those those little milestones are, are big, and, and it, it tells them that their hard work pays off. It tells them, hey, guys, we're heading in the right direction. And um, after that, we I don't think we've mentioned it again. If they have, it's been in confidence in their dorm rooms or something. But uh, you just don't let them get um, over um, – you know, just don't let it – overwhelm what the bigger picture is. The bigger picture is the next game. Coach, I guess, I guess you answered the question, but where is the balance between enjoying the success and was it like what they say about perfume, smell it, don't 
It Smell the roses. <laughs> uh, listen, we're, we, we acknowledge it for about a 24-hour period, but honestly, um, I'm trying to think that came out, and we had practice, so we didn't even get to, you know, celebrate like you would after a victory through the night or whatever. It was back on the court for two hours or so, and let's work. Um, you just, I guess, experience the experience of of my staff and I haven't gone through this at Baylor. You know, you just kind of acknowledge it and let them know and make them feel good about themselves. And yet, um, you know, I think I told them if what you did yesterday still looks big to you today, then you haven't done much today. And you just move on to the next deal. And the next deal will be Texas Southern and then it'll be all corn, and then it'll be UNO, and in between those games, you're preparing for those games, but you're also making yourself better. You're putting in little twists and little things here and there that you may need against Clemson or te Texas Tech, and then after that, you sit back down with them and you say, okay, part one is over. Well, what is part one? Part one are your non-conference games. That's done. That's done. So we can shove that over here. Tell me what you think we did. A, B, C, D, F. How did we do? And then you move into the most important part, and that is your conference. And so there's four parts to the season, and I'm going to make them understand. Let's grade ourselves on each part. Kim, do you know anything about Texas Southern that you can share with us? Or I sure do. <laughs> uh, Cynthia Cooper and I, we, we went at it. Ask her when you when you she comes to the press conference. Ask her if she really thought that was a charge she took off of me for the national championship. I have a little history there with her when she played at USC on those great teams with the McGee twins and Cheryl Miller. Um, she's uh, only been there a short period of time. I think she's got two new players that are eligible at semester. Uh, she's played an unbelievable schedule. Uh, don't look at the record. She's got a lot of fire in her belly, and she's gonna get those kids to play in hard, and I know our kids will play hard, and this is another opportunity for us to get on the floor and get better. Y'all good? All right, baby.